Hellas. Today, I want to present to you the quickest and the most efficient Yuzu installation guide on the internet. So, thank you guys to supporting my YouTube videos. Uh, we are now partnered on YouTube, by the way. That's my big announcement. I appreciate you guys coming in and helping and uh, leaving those subs. I appreciate it. And if this video also helps you out, don't forget to leave a sub and ring the notification bell. Give it a thumbs up. Just getting the obligatory YouTube stuff out of the way so we can get straight into this tutorial and you can guys can be in and out with your Yuzu setup in no time, right? We can do it. Okay. Let's go straight to our desktop here. Here's my little background. And we gotta get this bad boy on our desktop. So how the heck do we do that? Well, let's go right here. And if you go into the down link in the description, we'll be taking the Yuzu right here. Download this real quick. Uh, it'll be a little uh, setup and you guys will just do that. I already set it up, so I don't wanna go through the time and effort to show you guys that. You guys wanna be in and out with all the information you need. So all right, once you download that, Go to the desktop here and then once you run user you'll probably get an error message it won't it'll be a window like this but it'll come up with an error window You're probably wondering why is that happening that's because you need the product and the title keys and the way to get those i'll show you how to do that if you do percent app data ah uh, spelled it wrong with data like this you have to scroll down to yuzu not an and sorry you have to go to keys and with the download links in the description, the product and the title keys, you want to throw them in here. This title keys auto generated will not be in here until after you launch a Yuzu with these two. This will come on its own. You don't have to worry about this one, right? Anyway, so once we do that, Yuzu should be functional. Let's launch it. All right, sweet. Here's Yuzu. But we're going to have to do a few things first to be sure everything's running smoothly. All right, so let's go to configure, go to graphics. Okay. So keep in mind, I have an AMD graphics card, as it says right here. And uh, my friend, actually, who I helped set this up, he has an NVIDIA. So these settings worked for him as well, but these settings might not work for everyone. Just be sure you mess around with them and see what works and what doesn't. But I'll show you guys the ones that work for me, and they'll probably work for most. So for API, I set this to Vulkan, and then your graphics card of choice, whatever it is here. I have all these checked off, and the rest, don't mess with these. And go into advanced, set the accuracy level to high if it's not already set there. Turn off VSync and then turn on these two. Okay? Sweet. Once we have done that, we should be able to launch our ROMs. Unfortunately, for ROMs sake, you will be on your own, guys. I will not be showing you how to pirate ROMs. I personally dump my own for my uh Switch. But uh if you guys need a tutorial video on uh, how to do that i there's probably many on the internet how to get roms i won't condone that because i'm not going to support piracy but there are roms out there and once you download them just make a folder for the new directory so you can access them okay awesome all right so next what we will do is uh go into controls controls is really easy to set up i have a gamecube controller here actually plug it in for you guys so the GameCube controller, I will not have in this tutorial. I'll have it in another one. But if you plug it in and you have the right drivers, it'll show up. And honestly, any controller works. PlayStation 1, the Xbox ones, if you plug it in, even a Switch Pro controller itself. Apparently, if you plug it in, the, this emulator is pretty good about detecting those, and you can use any of them. So, Or if you don't have any sort of controller, you can just do a keyboard like this and just bound it to any buttons you want. All right, let's just test out the, the ROM we have to see if it actually works. All right, so now we have Trippier. Yep, we'll just see the menu because these are where all the characters are and this is what takes a lot of rendering. As we see here, drawing through the characters, I'll even pick them. Let me show you guys it works. All right, here we are. Normal, doesn't matter. We'll pick a map, make it nice and quick. And if it does the whole thing, load it up, notice how it's at 60 FPS, it's running well, and yeah, that's really it. All right, thank you so much for watching today, guys, and hey, if this video helped you out in any way, just be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you, if you really want more tutorials. I'm working on making more content, and you guys got me to YouTube Partner recently, so I'd like to thank you guys again. I didn't expect my video to blow up in the first one as much as it did, so it's greatly appreciated. Hey, this time I'll look more in the comments this time to help you out with any other questions or uh, issues. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.